In her book The Creative Habit, Learn It and Use It for Life, famous choreographer Twyla Tharp takes us on a fascinating trip through the creative streets of New York City. Tharp's powerful thoughts and personal experiences show us how to develop creativity and make it a part of our everyday lives. Twyla Tharp starts our journey by talking about how routine and discipline are important for creation. She stresses that creativity is not just a flash of brilliance, but rather a habit that anyone can create. Tharp talks about her daily habits, like getting up at 5.30 a.m., to show how consistency and order can help people get their creative juices flowing. As we read the book, we come across a lot of important ideas that help us unlock our artistic potential. Tharp says that planning is very important because it sets the stage for the creative process. She tells us to keep track of ideas and thoughts in what she calls a creative bank, a place where we can look for ideas when we're out. Throughout the book, Tharp tells us about the people who have helped her along her artistic path. These people include Martha Graham, who was one of the first people to do modern dance, and Frank Sinatra, who was a famous singer who changed the way songs were done. Tharp shows how these important artists have pushed the limits of their own art forms, which has inspired her to keep changing and pushing herself. Turning points in Tharp's work are marked by important events that can teach aspiring artists a lot. One of these is her work with the well-known ballet dancer Mikhail Baryshnikov. Tharp talks about how hard it was to combine her modern style and Baryshnikov's classical dance technique. This partnership not only led to the creation of dance pieces that broke new ground, but it also taught her how important it is to be flexible and open to new ideas. The story is built around themes of perseverance, grit, and self-discovery, which hit readers on a deep level. Tharp says that it's important to get past creative blocks and the fear of failing. She reminds us that mistakes are expected and should be seen as chances to learn. She tells us to try new things without being afraid and to let ourselves make bad art as we try to be creative. The book The Creative Habit is full of tasks and tips that help us develop our creativity. Tharp says that we can tell our brains it's time to create by doing things like listening to certain music or starting a candle. She talks a lot about the importance of the spine, which is a main idea or theme that gives our artistic work structure and flow. Tharp also tells us to get ideas from many different places, like museums, libraries, and other places that spark our creativity. The book is full of vivid examples and pictures that show how Tharp's ideas work. She tells stories about how she comes up with routines, including times when a small detail sparked a burst of creativity. The way Tharp tells stories takes us into her world and makes her ideas real and useful. As we near the end of our trip, Tharp tells us her most important message, being creative is something you do for the rest of your life. She tells us to be curious and to always look for new things to learn and experience. Tharp thinks that imagination isn't just for artists, it's a human trait that can be developed and shown in a lot of different ways. In the end, Tharp gives us a fresh sense of purpose and a set of tools we can use to keep making art. She tells us that creativity is a process, not a goal. It's a habit that makes our lives better and changes us from the inside. The book The Creative Habit, Learn It and Use It for Life is a fascinating look at the creative process that is full of great advice and ideas. Twyla Tharp shows through her own life and the lives of famous artists that creation is a skill that can be honed, practiced, and built into every part of our lives. So, let's start this creative journey, get into the habit of being creative, and use all of our potential.